Hi guys, Steam is out here back with another video more than just a pen. Today's video we are gonna be using watercolour paints, the ones that I used in my first ever time trying them <laughs> with the video that I did with Kirsty Parches, which was a collaboration. Um, I drew an elephant in that video, and today's video we are gonna be drawing a pair of giraffes. If you want to see that video, I'll probably put it up here somewhere. And Kirsty's if you don't know about her, she is the she. I'll try to link her channel in the description as well so you guys can go give her a follow. But before you go watch that video, make sure to watch this video. So with the giraffes, what we're going to do is we're going to mix it in with ballpoint pens because we're doing this series type thing right now where we're mixing all these different materials with ballpoint pens. Um, it's a part of my tutorial series for Patreon and it's a learning curve for me and for my patrons on Patreon as well. So. We're both going to be learning at the same time. Um, so I don't know how this video is going to turn out. It might be good, it might be bad. But at the end of the day, if it's bad, I can still try and tell you guys what not to do. But if it's good, I can still tell you guys what to do. So either way, it's going to work out for both of us. We're both going to learn and it's going to be lots of fun. And yeah, that's enough talking. All the tools and all the equipment that I'm using in this video, all linked in the description. And yeah, let's get into this. It's going to be fun. It is. I know it is. Yeah, it is. Let's go. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to use the rubber to lighten out the pencil sketch. Um, that's just a good thing. So when you're using your paints and all this other stuff, you won't see the pencil lines. Because once paint and ballpoint pen and everything dries on top of pencil lines, it comes through. And we don't want that to come through. So that's why I use a rubber to mess around with it. So my first, let's say, mistake was that I didn't put water on the whole outline of the giraffe. I applied the red first really quickly um, and it, was, it wasn't it was loose enough, it was too, too thick. And then after that, I added the water but the water was still red because I didn't clean my brush. So I should have cleaned my brush before I even applied another layer of just the water. Um, but yeah, man, it, oh, I don't know about this drawing. It was a, it was a funny one because I was just literally, I was going with the flow, um, improvising most of the time. And uh, it was a difficult one because I could have I could have stopped and just said, you know what? Nope, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to give up and start new here again with this red, oh, mate. I should have applied the water first and then started adding color. But again, it's all a learning curve. I'm still experimenting. I'm still learning this. I'm not an expert at it and I can only get better but again I let it dry and everything and the colors came out a bit light uh, which I liked because I didn't want it to be too dark when I was mixing them I was like oh why did I add the purple but again here I let it dry for a bit and it came out lighter well here the background I was like you know what I don't want to leave it white I'm gonna apply black um, because I want the giraffes to be bold I want them to stand out so I thought, you know what, make the background dark, like a dark color. Um, applying the black now, I was like, you know, I, I like it, but I don't like it. You know what I mean? I was, I was, I was 50 50. I was like, should I have done this? Should I, I kept on questioning myself, which I should have do. I, should, I, I still kept on drawing and painting, but I was like, I don't know about this black if I want it to be my background. But I left that black and yeah it worked out okay for me in the end again had to let it all dry out because you need to you just need to let it dry out and here we're bringing in the brown ballpoint pen which is a Stedler brand the reason why I chose brown instead of black is because I already have the black background and giraffes the colors are brown and like a creamy color so I was like you know what? I'm gonna use brown in this drawing instead of using black so the first thing I did, I was just drawing out all the areas that I saw that were dark toned. Of course, a lot of it was left in white. And now that I have a white pen, I get to use that as well. But I wasn't thinking about that while I was doing this. While I was doing this, I was like, let me just draw everything I see, the dark tones and everything, get the outline and see how it looks. And then after that, we'll take it from there. Um, using the brown pen now, what did I think of it? I, I liked it but I felt like it wasn't strong enough. You know what I mean? It wasn't dark enough, like a black. Um, do I wish I used a black now? Maybe, maybe, no, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, yeah, let's just say it, maybe. I'm not 100% sure if the black would have been any better because brown and black is pretty close. And 
maybe the watercolor layer that I did underneath is too dark for the drawing that could be it um, I need to be I should use just like light colors instead of using purple or things like that I should just keep to the yellow red oranges and like light greens you know um, that maybe might have made it even better but again like I said it's all learning it's all things trying out different things but yeah here I was just adding in the I don't know what you call it spots let's just say spots just adding in the spots again this was like a little sketch it's an experiment the whole thing's an experiment so i wasn't spending hours and hours on the details i was just trying to get everything in place so it was almost like a little sketch type realism drawing ish <laughs> i don't know what to call it but that's where it is again if you're excellent with watercolor paints i would love to hear your opinions and obviously constructive criticism or anything you feel like I can try out in order to improve my watercolor skills and this is my second time trying them and yeah I'm using the tubes right now and I know that they sell palettes but I was like you know what I'm not going to invest in the palettes just yet where they have multiple colors so I can, it's easier to mix um, but I'm just going to keep with the tubes for now until I finish them and then get better at them so here I decided to bring in a little bit of white and what I noticed was that the white it's starting to really make the giraffe pop even more so i was like you know what okay it's all right just add the white where i see white leave it like that and after that i decided to move on to the second giraffe and once i was doing the second giraffe i kept on looking back at the first one saying okay you know the, the white is there and it's really making the giraffe pop and if i didn't add the white i, I reckon it would have looked a, a lot it look, would have just looked dull and it just wouldn't look right you know what i mean it just looks boring so the white is essential here it makes a big difference um that's another thing i saw in one of kirsty's videos where she was like i think turning something turning bad art into good art and um, where she literally was using watercolors and everything applying pencils and stuff and then she brought in the white and the white made like a huge difference it made it look lively it made it look fresh and that's what i tried to do with this drawing as well i was like you know what it's not really going the way i want it to how can i make it look a little bit better and sometimes it's the smallest thing just adding a lighter color or adding a bit of highlights or shadows in certain areas can make the biggest difference to your drawing but at the end of the day you just you have to take the risk as well you have to take the risk that knowing that not all your art is going to be perfect um it's all a learning curve there's parts that is going to be bad um, but then again I don't really class anything as bad art because if it's gonna help you improve then is it really bad art I don't really think so I feel like that's part of the process you have to create bad art in order to know what not to do so here again I'm adding in the white pen and as you can see it's already making this second giraffe look more in your face so after I was adding it here I was like you know what that part there where I've added it around the spots, the spots are really like in your face. So I was like, you know, I need to apply this everywhere. So I started applying it all over the areas next to the spots in order for the spots to be more bold and stand out, be more strong, you know, stand out even more. So I went back to the first giraffe, started adding more white. I did you abused this white pen. I was like, you know what? I need this giraffe to pop. I need them to be in your face. And I need the background to calm down a little bit more in order for the giraffes to stand out. Um, I don't know. I was thinking, you know what? Should I make the whole background like solid black? Would have that been better for the giraffes to be even more poppy? I don't know. Is that even a word? Poppy? <laughs> but in order to make the giraffes strong and more powerful. Here, as you can see, I'm adding, applying a little bit more water to the background. I didn't add no color. I didn't add no uh, black more. I was just using literally just water um, and using the black from the background to create this like gray tone. And I feel like that made the background lighter uh, by the end of it. I, Cause obviously I was spreading out the color and it made it much lighter. And this way the giraffes had the chance to be more strong more powerful so i feel like this was a really good decision for me to just use water lighten up the background a little bit more um, in order for the giraffes to have that strong detail 
after that what I did was I used the white pen to create like a border around the giraffes to make them stand out even more compared to before when it's just the background and the giraffes and I feel like it was a good another good choice this one let me know what you guys think if it was a good or bad choice but I like it and that's the most important thing that you the artist like what you're doing and again I learned a lot from this drawing I learned a lot of things that I should try and apply to my other drawings as well like adding like white borders and or using the white pen to give it more life as highlights and stuff like that um, and yeah, it was just a lot of fun man I really enjoyed this and I hope you guys have enjoyed this little commentary and yeah man make sure to give the video a thumbs up it really helps the channel grow and comment your thoughts and things that I can improve on or things you would like to see and yeah it's been real man thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye now. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, still give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, subscribe to Demi's Art. That's me. I'll catch you later in the next video. I'm out. Peace.